Pascal's mugging is a philosophical thought experiment based around utilitarian ethics and decision theory. It was introduced by Eliezer Yudkowsky and Nick Bostrom. What this video will do is introduce you to the thought experiment as well as to some solutions to the problems it poses. However, before I do this I will first provide a little bit of background. What is utilitarianism? Put simply, maximize the greatest good for the greatest number with the assumption that everyone is equal. But what does that really mean? Well, when faced with two options, a utilitarian, represented here by utilitarian man, would pick the one that led to the greatest good for the greatest number. Thus, if a utilitarian had no choice but to press one of two buttons, button A, which had a 60% chance of harming 10 people, and button B, which had a 90% chance of harming 5 people, the utilitarian would pull out his utilitarian calculator, do the math, and then press button B, figuring that it was a lesser of two evils, and would thus bring about the greatest good for the greatest number. Now that you know what a typical utilitarian would do, let's move on to Pascal's mugging itself. Pascal, a French mathematician, is going for a walk on the countryside, when he encounters a ravage looking man. The man says to him, Yo, Pascal, that's a nice wallet you have there, and it probably contains a decent amount of money. You should give it to me. If you don't, then I will, uh, I'll, uh, I'll exit the Matrix, and I'll spawn 10 to the power of 10 to, uh, the power of 100 people inside of this universe and torture them forever. So you see, Pascal, if you are a good man and you look like one, and you want to prevent all these innocent people from suffering, then you really should give me your wallet. Now, Pascal is no idiot and realizes that this rambling hobo with a fake accent is probably lying. But, being a good utilitarian, Pascal decides that it would be best to pull out his utilitarian calculator and actually do the math. Now, as unlikely as the mugger is actually from outside the Matrix and has the power to spawn and torture a large number of people, it is a non-zero likelihood, thinks Pascal. That is, it is possible that he is telling the truth, albeit very, very unlikely. Furthermore, the number of people he claims to be able to torture also appears to far outweigh the smoothness of this likelihood. Thus, doing the calculations and comparing it to the alternative, which is keeping the wallet, he figures out that to maximize the greatest good, for the greatest number, he should in fact give the hobo his wallet. And thus we arrive at the paradoxical component of Pascal's mugging. We have our intuitions on the one hand, which say that we should not give the mugger our wallet, but then we have the calculation on the other hand, which says that it would be best if we were to give the mugger our wallet. Which is right. Give it a think, and then in the second half of the video we will discuss some objections and potential solutions. Alright, so you've given it some thought. Well, here are three objections to giving the wallet that you might have come up with. Objection number one. It is such an outlandish scenario that the probability must effectively be zero. While the probability will be close to zero, one key point to realize is that it will not actually be zero, as that would be claiming that it is impossible for the mugger to be a matrix overlord. It is important to differentiate between impossible and very, very, very unlikely. Hence, to say the probability is effectively zero ignores the crux of the problem. Objection number two. Why would someone outside of the matrix with the ability to spawn billions upon billions of people want your wallet? Well, as far as we know, we are all living in The Sims, and this mugger is actually the creator, and he is just bored and wants to mess with us. You must admit that this scenario also is quite unlikely, but still plausible. Regardless, however, this objection also ignores the crux of the problem, because even though it may make the situation more unlikely, the mugger is claiming to kill such a vast quantity of people that the smallness of the probability is effectively overshadowed. Objection number three, the last and final objection I'm going to discuss. Assuming Pascal did give him the wallet, won't another mugger see this happening and do the same thing? And then another mugger, and then another mugger, ad infinitum. This is actually a pretty decent objection, 
but I can modify the thought experiment such that this happened in an isolated alleyway with no one around to see the mugging. We can also make it so that the mugger would not tell anyone by having him be a well-known loner who apart from the very rare attempted mugging likes to stay in a corner, away from other muggers. In this alternate Pascal's mugging, there is no chance that anyone else will be aware of the mugging. And this is the only Pascal's type mugging that will ever exist. So this third objection, as well, skirts around the crux of the problem. Having discussed these three objections, let us assume that Pascal's mugging really does provide us with a true paradox. A battle between our intuitions on the one hand, and our rational, utilitarian calculations on the other. In which case, I will now talk about how we can reconcile these two disparate views. So, there can really only be two possible actions that you believe Pascal should take. Either, one, he gives the wallet, or two, he keeps the wallet. If you believe, one, that he should give the wallet, then what you must have done is reject your intuition. Sometimes common sense is wrong, you say. Look at the Monty Hall problem, or how something heavier than air can fly, or the extremely counterintuitive world of quantum mechanics. Pascal's mugging is just the same. The calculations are right, and thus, what you should do is give that man your wallet. If you believe two on the other hand, that he should keep the wallet, then you must believe that something has gone wrong with the calculation. Perhaps we really should just say that probabilities arbitrarily close to zero are in fact zero. Or maybe the probability that the mugger is telling the truth is justifiably low enough. Lower than the amount of people he is claiming to kill is high. However, perhaps it is even the case that you reject the whole situation altogether, claiming that the root of the problem lies in utilitarianism itself. If you take this view, then you would say that this whole stupid spiel arises from using a faulty ethical system. Perhaps you are more inclined to use other ethical systems, such as deontology or virtue ethics. Maybe I have missed a way to reconcile this paradox, in which case, post your thoughts in the comments. Regardless, next time you go outside for a walk, try to limit the amount of cash you carry in your wallet. Use a credit or a debit card instead. It is both better for the environment, and slightly more resilient to a Pascal's mugging.